What up, y'all? Mr. Cruz here with a tutorial showing you guys uh, what we're going to be starting on today is I'm going to show you guys how to work the drum machine uh, in BandLab. So kind of when we left off on our other one, we had um, this loop going and we had dragged a drum pattern into it. Uh, so let's take a listen to what we had. All right, so I'm listening to this. So let's say there was something about this that let's say I didn't like it or I wanted to get rid of it and I wanted to do my own drums. Uh, so for the time being, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to mute that track. Um, and I'm going to make a new track. So I click here to add track. And this time I'm going to pick drum machine. If you remember last time, we just went to browse loops or you can go to voice mic. Uh, to then look for loops, but this time we're going to go to drum machine. All right, so here in my drum machine, um, I'm going to move my cycle over to the very beginning, and I'm going to delete uh, this one. Actually, let's delete this one as well. Okay. Um, my drum machine, when I click here on the name drum machine, the little icon, when I click here on the little icon next to it, uh, this is what opens up. So this is my drum sequencer. Uh, and I can, it already has a pattern in here, so I want to start fresh. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit clear pattern. If you right click anywhere inside these squares, uh, that option will pop up. Um, to, so essentially what this does is these, this little grid, when I fill out the spaces in this grid, it'll register an instrument that's being played or that's whatever is selected for that row. And then when I hit play, it'll play uh, like a makeshift playhead will drag across the grid here. And as it drags across any of these um, filled in circles, filled in squares, it'll play that instrument. So, all right. I'm not sure why this one's grayed out. Oh, because I guess it gives me two different options. Let's go middle time. Um, so this is how this would work. Now, when you play this, uh, I think you can have the metronome selected. No, it doesn't have that. All right. Uh, but it's not going to matter because uh, we have such a short, uh, we only have one bar that we can fill in. So I'm going to make a pattern here with um, the drum kit that I have here. All right. So I'm going to just hit play, and I'm going to start filling stuff in. And then once I feel like I like what I'm hearing, I'll you know, hit stop. All right. So let's do this. All right, so I, I like what I have there so far. Um, so these little icons on the side, this is a kick drum, this is a floor tom, um, this is a snare, a snare edge. So this is kind of like what's called a rim shot. Um, and if you click it, it'll it'll play whatever that sound is. Um, and obviously, like you see, you have here the letters that match. So you can play this on your keyboard. So you're, I'm not gonna move my, mouse but i'll click the letter g and it'll give me a sample or a preview of whatever that sound is um, and you can change these so let's say i have uh this closed hi-hat here let's say instead i wanted a cowbell that's not going to sound good but you can change it yeah i don't know it might sound good to you but i don't think it sounds very good um so, all right, so I have this and I want to bring this into my session or into my project. I'm going to click down here to add A. Here you have pattern banks. Um, right now we're in pattern, we're in bank A. So if I hit add A, it's going to add A to my, my session, my main sequencer. All right, so 
I, I clicked it, but we didn't see anything happening. But when we go back here, we'll see that we have A, wherever our playhead cursor uh, was. So I can click and drag uh, my, my duplicate to uh, duplicate that region to make it longer. Or what I could do is move my playhead here, go back to my drum machine, and then click Add A again. That's a more complicated way, but here's what I am going to do. I'm going to go to A. Now I'm going to go to pattern B, to bank B, and I'm going to clear this pattern. And then I'm going to add something else. Um, so let's say I wanted kind of to keep the same feel. So I'm going to keep, let's say I want to keep the same feel. All right. And let's Like that so now notice what I did that here is I didn't have the pattern be the exact same I didn't have it the exact same because that's no there makes no point to have pattern or have bank a and B both be the same thing because I can just duplicate it so I want pattern sorry I want bank a to be different than bank B and I'm gonna add bank B to the end right so now the way I have it set up here is bank a is gonna play first and then it's gonna play bank B so let's see what that sounds like Turn my metronome off. All right. All right. See, I like I like what I'm hearing so far. So I'm gonna do the usual. I'm gonna copy, and I am going to paste that region. So I'm gonna let's do it one more time. Actually, two more times. All right. And let's move my cycle over to here. So we can hear what it sounds like with all of our instruments in here together. And again, this part up here is muted, um, but let's see what it sounds like. All right, I like that. Um, here's another thing that we can do, is we can select different kits. Over here on the left side, it says uh, that we have 808 kit selected. This is gonna be by default. So as soon as you open up a project and as soon as you start with uh, your drum kits, 808 kit is gonna be uh, the first one up, but you can select different. So look, you have here a ton of different ones that you can swap. And once you have a pattern filled in, when you select a different kit, all it's gonna do is change the sound. It's not gonna change your pattern. So you're not gonna lose anything as far as like the pattern and the banks that you already had put. So let's say if I went to, uh, let's go here with Compton Kit, all right? See, my, my pattern didn't change. All that's gonna change is the sound. So now if I hit S, that's now my kick. If I hit F, that's now my snare. So let's see what it sounds like now. Not too bad, but I'm gonna go back to my 808 kit because uh, I like that one the best. All right, um, and then of course, as we said here, you can select different instruments that you want to use. So anything that is um, that you see in a white is something that has not been used yet. So it's almost like you have um, like you have stuff in like a toolbox. Um, so this is like your toolbox. And if you take something out, if you're using something, then somebody else can't use it. So this right here, right, our selections on the side are like, you know, the people that you're working with on a project. So if this person is using the kick, then that means you can't use the kick anywhere else. So when you select something here, if you're looking to change the sound, you're only looking for sounds that you haven't used in your you haven't pulled out of your toolbox yet. So these are only the sounds that are available uh, and you can change those as you wish. And obviously over here, you have eight different banks that you can use. 